Meet Year 7. Awesome! It's the most important year of school so far. You're not here to have a laugh and a good time. You're here to learn. <laughs> With so many changes, new friends, Oh, yes, have you got a car? And new teachers. You are a Greenwood boy. It's an exciting world to discover. Wow. It can be fun, but sometimes it can be tough. There are different challenges for everybody. We're in year seven, we're acting like three year olds. We've rigged another second school with loads of cameras. Is this what you see when you look for a camera? Because this is awesome. So you can find out exactly what happens. You're on report by my request. I'm Trev. <laughs> I used to go to school here, but now I'm one of the teachers. Last question, because you're going to run out of time. Welcome to our school. I need a week. Secondary school. It's big. Yeah. Let's go. There's loads of people and lots going on. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes it can be tough to focus oh. on just one thing. Here. And with all the noise, I'm tired, I'm tired. it can feel hard to be heard. Today you'll get to know two pupils right in the middle of all this madness. This is Misty, who's pretty loud herself. And this is Isaac, who never sits still. It's not a dance session, this is a maths lesson. And who has some big emotions. Have you spoken to Mr Maddox about it? Here we go. It's time for school. Meet Isaac. So what's special about you then? Yeah, I can open my eyes so I just can see that dangly thing at the back of me. Now that's a talent. <laughs> Isaac is very easily distracted. Isaac, well, that's not what you should be doing right now. I'm going to take these off because it's getting on my nerves a little bit now. With loads of energy. Lesson's over. Yeah. He can't even sit right. still okay. for us. Um, well, okay. Isaac. Isaac. Cool. Isaac. Isaac. Oh, you're coming with me. Once he even started interviewing one of the CBBC team. If you could choose to be a boy or girl, which one? Girl. Actually, it's not bad. There might be a job for what? Isaac there. That's a wrap. I've always wanted to say that. So when do we think Shakespeare was alive then? Right now, Isaac's in English. What, what is it, Hamlet or Omelet? Not Omelet, that's the one with eggs. Um, um, Hamlet. Hamlet. Yeah. Hamlet. It doesn't happen often, but when Isaac does focus, he can be really good. Mainly, where did his plays get performed? In a stage. <laughs> Which city? London. Why London? Because it's a big city. Lots of people. When I'm focusing on one thing, I can get really good at it. But if I have to like focus on two things, I'm like really terrible. Anything can distract him. Today, all it takes is a bottle of water. He wants to take it apart, wave it around. I find it very hard to concentrate when like, there's other things on my mind. Like I find it very hard to do stuff. Isaac, just leave it alone. In some lessons, all Isaac's energy can get him in trouble. Uh, fantastico. gracias. Like this time in Spanish. Isaac, yellow card now. Thank you. Very quickly, I'm teaching a lesson. You're now distracting it. OK. Feminine nouns tend to end in an A. Could you take a step, a step outside for me, Isaac? I need to have a conversation now. OK? They tend to always end in A's. Can you write that in your books, please? OK? OK. I don't know how many times I need to speak to you about this, OK? I gave you a first warning and you knew that. Then you carried on distracting the learning. How? By drawing on your hands, messing with your bottle, talking when you're not supposed to be talking. You're making noise when I'm trying to teach. And if you get in trouble too many times... OK, back into the back corner, please. Thank you. It means spending your lunchtime with Head of Year 7, Miss Richardson. She doesn't pull any punches. Do you understand why you're in isolation today? 
Isaac has the potential to be such a happy Greenwood Academy student. He just needs to make sure he stays on track and remains focused in lessons. So you really were disengaged. Okay, so what are you going to do next time? Uh, listen and engage. And show respect as well. You've seen that Isaac can get hyper and distracted, but there's another side to him. He's very sensitive, with a head full of feelings that sometimes explode. It doesn't take much to set him off. Getting into trouble with Miss Richardson today has really upset him. Sometimes I can get, like, really happy to really sad or really happy to really angry very quickly. When Isaac gets in a state like this, he goes to see Sean, one of the school's youth workers. What's happened? Don't speak about it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Control the tears. He's very emotional. He always takes things to heart. And he says he can't control that, so we are looking at... We, we have been doing breathing techniques, counting backwards from 10. Do you know how you don't get to see oh. Miss Richardson? Right? Yeah. You behave. I'm trying! Yeah, I know you're trying, but it's still... There's still it's little hard, things. Sean. I know it's still hard, mate. I know it's, it's very hard. hard for me. But if you start behaving in lessons and you start behaving at break and lunch times, you'll never see Miss Richardson. I find it really easy to open up to Sean. Yeah, I trust him a lot. Again, good lad, come here. Give us a handshake. Yeah? Good lad. All right, chin up, yeah? There's going to be times where I'm not going to be here for him, so he needs to learn to stand on his own two feet. Maybe Isaac just needs to find something to focus on in school, a way of using all that energy and emotion. It's very important to me to be in control of my emotions. So that's Isaac. Now here's another of our Year 7s. Oh, control, no. Just like Isaac, there are two very different sides to Misty. One can be quite shy. It's oh so quiet. And her other side is <coughs> rather loud. <coughs> well, Misty's bonkers. Crazy. Sometimes I think I'm bonkers, but I just feel <laughs> free. Bonkers. Yeah! That's our first day, all she did was shout. <laughs> we even tried to calm you to tell you to... So... Volume control can get Misty in a bit of bother. You've got moves at this in some. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Oh, did you hear me just asking for quiet? But there's a reason Misty can be loud. <laughs> She's part of a very big family. There's ten people in the house. Along with her mum and dad, Misty has seven brothers and sisters, most of them younger than her. This is Oakley, say hello. Hello. This is Harvey. This is McCall, say hello. Hello. Here's Krista. This is Dolly, say hello, Angel. Hello. It's very hectic at home. And loopy. And bonkers. <laughs> To get everybody ready in the morning, Misty and her siblings sometimes get up as early as 5am. I'm not the oldest, but I'm nearly the oldest, and I'll look after the little ones to make sure they're OK. And that's not all. Misty also looks after this iguana and this rabbit. It gets very loud in the house because there's loads of people that are arguing over silly things like breakfast. Oh, thank you. The noise round here has a big impact on Misty. I need to be allowed to be heard. I can't talk like this. I have to talk like this! Ow! But there are benefits too. Right, Misty? <laughs> Best thing is about having a big family is... you're never lonely. So that's Misty's family. Hi, Misty. But what about everyone else's? Family comes first, because family is the most biggest thing you can ever fin think of. I think families are pretty complicated. I've got, like, six cousins, a brother and a half-brother. Fifteen second cousins. Two sisters and another half-sister. A nana, granddad, an auntie and uncle. Two dogs, a hamster. I used to have a fish, but it popped. Um, what? 
Oh, is that fatty, the fish? My dad kind of lets me off more than my mum does. <laughs> my little sister, she gets on my nerves a lot. She probably thinks that I'm bossy as well. I fall out with my brother all the time. My bedroom, we, I share with four people, and it's like crazy, fun, lazy, messy. My family are fun. They're responsible, they're, they're calm and they're nice. They'll always be proud of you if you've done something good. I really rely on my family because family is the most important thing in the world. Isaac's family is much smaller than Misty's. He's only got one elder brother and a sister, Grace. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. OK. Hey. Who also goes to Greenwood, where she's been learning a bit of sign language. This is snow. Yes, snow. Um, this is clap. Oh, yeah, clap. And then this is Jess hand. <laughs> the other member of Isaac's family is this snake. The snake eats mice and uh, you've got to hold it while it's tail and the snake will jump to get it. Mouse snake. Most days, Isaac stops off at the shops on his way into school. Free tellers. A drink and some bubblegum. Isaac's sweet tooth can be another distraction in class. And he has a few tricks to get around our school rules about snacking in lessons. <laughs> Saw that, Isaac. Isaac, I've got ten sweets. I'm sharing them between five people. How many sweets do you need? I wouldn't even share them if you got sweets. Like, just keep them for yourself. Isaac's got maths and he's in an energetic mood. Isaac, it's not a dance session, this is a maths lesson. <laughs> Isaac, come on, questions. <laughs> when Isaac gets like this, he's often sent out. Outside, Isaac. Quiet. But this time, he's still buzzing in the corridor. What's that tree ever done to you, eh? Isaac's mood can change very quickly. He can easily crash from high to low. By the time he gets to his French lesson after break, he's suddenly very down. So, boys and girls, you should have the title written down, the LI written down. Now tell me what's up. Isaac's left his class for some time out. He's really upset. Well, you were... well, right, breathe before you speak, because I don't want you to not be able to catch your breath, okay? So There's been a bit of trouble at break time. Miss Richardson tries to sort things out. Okay, make sure you're calming down your breathing. Isaac was in quite an emotional state, really. He was crying a lot, rubbing his eyes a lot, um, and couldn't really seem to breathe properly. You there? You ready? Right. Breathe for a little bit longer. Then tell me. People are taking my bag. It turns out one of the other boys was messing about with his bag. It wasn't a big falling out, but enough to upset him. What we're going to do about that is I think it'd be good if for a bit you stay away from the Astro turf. With Miss Richardson's help, Isaac calms down a lot. Well, what I want you to do is trust in me now to deal with this, OK? As I've said, I try and deal with it the best way possible. OK, as you know, I will. Right? You ready to go back in and do a bit of French, wee oui, wee? Oui? I don't know anymore, but je m'appelle. My name is, goodbye. Perhaps the rest of Isaac's day will be less emotional. While he calms down, let's check in on Misty, eh? Misty is part of a class at school called Accelerate for kids who need a bit more help. Right, so let's go to the back of the book. Why do we go to the back of the book? Can we read about the blur? The, blur. Well, can can I read the class it? are practicing their reading skills, which can be tricky for Misty. I have, uh, what's it called? Dyslexic. Oh, dyslexia. AR. Dyslexia. I can't say the word. Dyslexia. 
Yeah, that one. Yeah, and it's where you can't read or write properly. Um, what's that word? Cold or... Edward. Edward. Okay, so what we're going to do, she yelled it. Yeah! You don't shout yelled, what do you shout? When I read a book, I just make up words because I can't read it. I can't. And basically make up my own story. Somewhere around my Edward. Edward. Edward yells. Scrambling. Well, just like he makes me feel stupid because you can't do stuff that other people can. Misty's definitely not stupid, but she can really lack confidence in herself. Done it. So it's a poem about football? Yeah. So have you done everything I've asked? I don't know. Sir, oh, you have. You, you have. You should say, yes, sir, of course I have. I have some confidence. Misty so. struggles with self-esteem and confidence, and I think she doesn't believe in herself. Teaching assistant Laura is keen to boost Misty's confidence and has asked her for a chat. Hello. Just going to have a little session with me. It's nothing to worry about and that. There are definitely two sides to Misty. Sometimes she can be loud, but then other times she can be quite quiet. Right, so what I'm going to do is, this is something called a mind map. We write your name in the middle, Misty. I just think she needs to find her way um, and build on maybe hobbies that she has. What interests do you have? And it could be anything like out of school, is it um, computer games, is it pets, is it friends? You tell me. Uh, staying with my family. Staying with your family? Yeah. What would you like to do with your life, like for a job, or what, what interests do you have? Nothing. When mm -hmm. I was your age, my dream was to be a beauty therapist. Do you know what a beauty therapist is? Right, it's someone who does makeup um, and manicures and nails. Are you good at singing or dancing or anything like that? No, nothing like that. Do you play an instrument? <gasps> you do? What instrument do you play? Clarinet. <gasps> OK. My sister plays it as well. Oh, wow, brilliant. And okay. my brother plays trumpet. I bet your house is a noisy then if you're all practising at the same time. And I think at home, I think it is such a busy environment, she sometimes might not be heard because there is so many of them in the household. I wonder if we could arrange something around clarinet. A performance. Not by yourself, cos I know that, that's a big ask for someone to perform all by their self. She doesn't believe in herself. And I think, as, as a school, I think that's something that we can help her to achieve great things. All right, then. And I'll catch up with you soon, OK, sweetheart? I'll see you later. One thing that Isaac and Misty have in common is music. Isaac gets rid of some of his energy learning to play the drums. Uh, good to go. Me break, you break. After drum practice, Isaac comes for a catch-up with Sean and one of their regular games of pool. Sean is keen for Isaac to take his drumming further, to focus his energies and help calm him down. Yes. And what's your drum skills like? Like... Really high level for me. For you, you love Isaac yeah, to play the like drums at our end of year talent show. Okay. And do you think, because you're pretty good at it, that we could maybe look at entering you for Castle Vale's Got Talent? Maybe. As we all know, Isaac's got a lot of enthusiasm, and most of the time he seems to send it in a negative way. With the talent show, it's going to be a huge positive for Isaac, and then that will then have an impact into his lessons, hopefully. But Isaac's not sure about getting up on stage. I don't know, I've got, like, stage fright. You, stage fright? Yeah, believe it or not. You've got so much confidence. <laughs> not on the stage. The thing I'm worried about the most is me just messing up in the middle. Cos I can't play, so I probably won't even do it. Just, oh. do, just do your best. But I don't know, I'd get so embarrassed and, like, I don't know what to do. So Isaac's not keen on the talent show, but the school has a club where the kids get to fix up broken bikes. Sean's keen to get Isaac involved. Did you get your letter about the bike project? Uh, what is it? Isn't it like where it helps build bikes? That's the one, mate. You can help build the bike. You'll have your own bike to build. Really? Yeah. Well, but I don't have a bike at home to bring you. 
No, you, we'll give you a bike. <gasps> really, can it be some awesome one with flames on? Yeah. Has Sean found something that Isaac can really focus on? With a bit of encouragement from Laura, Misty has brought her clarinet into school today. I play the clarinet and I like it because it makes lots of noise. And you can squeak it to get on people's mouth. Doesn't seem to be getting on Dylan's nerves. He's loving it. So we'll put flutes on that side, clarinets this side, Misty on the end. At lunchtime, it's Misty's first school band practice. So first of all, welcome to Elise and Misty, who are just coming to just join us to have a go, to see what it's like. Maybe this will really help her confidence. Four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, four beats. I like being in them because you can make lots and lots of noise. Finally, Mist is found somewhere in school where she's allowed to be loud. I like making noise because you can get heard. And if you're quiet, you don't get heard. The school day is over. If you want to just check the tyre pressures, all you need to do is just squeeze the tyre. So you just have a go at that. And it's Isaac's first bike challenge workshop. So we've checked the tyre pressure. The question no, is, it will he keep his attention? Give that wheel a spin. Spin it round. You're looking at, does it roll freely? Yes. And have a look at it. Is it wobbling at all? Yeah. Usually you get buckled wheels if you're in the habit of bouncing off curbs. Me. Or bouncing down steps. Me. OK. Over the next few weeks, the challenge is to take a bike from the scrap heap and get it working again. If you do, you keep it. Then pull it onto this. Then pull it onto there. Yeah. And then you've got a third one. You can try and bit further down. I chose to build a BMX. And it's really cool. I've got all the wheels. <laughs> it hasn't got any brakes. And it needs a chain. So thread your chain through. Put it behind the chain wheel, yeah? Bring it to there. Yeah. Then put that from the other side. Amazing. Isaac is actually focused on something. Isaac, how's it going? So what are we doing now? Attaching the, like, the brake. The brakes. I was proud to see Isaac achieving so much, even just in his first session. <gasps> Done it! <laughs> he has got loads of enthusiasm and he really right? showed it, so I was very proud of Isaac. Looking good. It's a bit too quick. Part of the deal is that if Isaac wants to keep coming to bike club, he needs to behave in class and get good reports. Over the next few weeks of hard work, Isaac's new focus starts to impress his teachers. I think it's really great to see Isaac on this bike challenge. He's really thrown himself into it 100%. He's managing to stay focused on the project and he's really giving a lot of effort in. So how was today? I was today at school. Great. Pass us that, please. Oh, this. Thank what? you. And why was today great? Because I'm getting better. Why are you getting better? Because I'm working for like, a reward, basically. And what's your reward? Come in here. Good lad. I think it helps me to focus on doing one thing, because, like, I felt, like, really <laughs> calm and... Like, just focused on the bike. At last, it looks like Isaac may be settling into our school. What we got third? Is it Pierre? Yeah. Things are starting to work out for Misty too. I'm in the laughing mood. <laughs> My confidence is growing because I've been being really, 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 really loud. She's kept up the band and has started performing in their big shows. Some people are like quiet, but I would rather have it loud because if it was quiet, it would be boring. <laughs> These days, she seems much more confident in class. The butterflies sway through the sky. Yeah, that's a good word, sway. Beautiful butterflies are beautiful, isn't it? They are, yes. It's a butterfly. But she's also learning that not all noise is good noise. 
I can play Mamma Mia on it. That's a foot. Mamma Mia! You can play what? Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Mia. Here I go again. My, my, my. How can I resist you? Right, I've got an earache. Oh, dear. Meanwhile... Tell me answer. On gato. On gato. Isaac's taking his bike club focus back into lessons. What else do you see? Yes. Yes, rivers and streams. He seems more engaged, less distracted, and he hasn't been getting so upset. Six times six is 36. OK, brilliant. What does squared mean, Isaac? Oh, times it by its own number. Times it by itself. Yeah. Once Isaac can get away from all the distractions in class and just focus his mind fully on what he's needed to do, he is able to go ahead and produce some great pieces of work. But call the you can call the pocket for me. But there's time for one more game of pool. You get this now. No. Oh. How did you think the bike project went last night? Great, great. Did you really enjoy it? Yeah. So tell me about today then. I think it was really good today. I only got like a first warning today. That is it. Right, that's the standard we're at then. Okay. Yeah. That's your benchmark. There's still a lot of work ahead for Isaac, but with Sean's help, he's made a positive start. This term, I think Sean's been really helpful because he got me involved in the bike project and, like, that was really cool. <gasps> Where did that come from? Me being epic. Epic. Yes, really epic. <laughs> Very epic. Isaac has much potential as he wants to. He just needs to believe himself a, a little bit more and he will get there. I believe he will anyway. Like a lot of Year 7, Isaac's figuring out how to handle his emotions and he's finding new ways of getting the most out of school too. <laughs> Next time on Our School... Face that way, do not talk. ..we'll meet Thomas... Thomas, if you stop talking... ..and Vanessa. Yep, that's what I said. We'll find out what happens when that Year 7 change of image... You now have a detention. ..gets out of hand and gets you into trouble. You're on report by my request. Yes! yes. Done. <laughs> <laughs>